Hello Frenzy, my name is Kate Sherk and welcome back to Null Recall. Okay, so I know I said I was going to take a break the last episode. I apologize. I... I was... that was the plan, but things change. I wanted to know more about this story. So there you go, David. You were so worried about this story. I want to know more about it. So I am figured I'd go ahead and finish off what I can. Uh, I know episode 8 isn't up yet, but I'll do what I can. Maybe I'll come back and do it later. Who knows? Um, but in the meantime... I'm going to go ahead and continue on with chapter two, which, what it, what was episode two called? Barely hanging on. Okay, so episode two is barely hanging on. I guess we'll go with this look. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Are you Amish? Uh, Co Cooper Norwood, it's good to see you again, Alex. You too. Oh, it's his name. Pfft, wow. I know you're investigating your parents again. Uh, the VPN servers you're using are compromised. If I could catch you snooping around, they will too. Thanks, but I don't need any help. So you want to get caught. Whatever bait you have planned will not work. What do you want, Cooper? Come back to the NSA. I negotiated your salary. $200,000?! Uh, not until the culture changes. Help me change it. We need good people like you. You saw what they did to my parents. The NSA? They can't do anything with all that bureaucracy. How is it better being... How is being a lone wolf any better? Uh, so I should come back and make the same mistakes again. Go... You need to go away. I don't like you around here. Go. Get out. Sorry. <laughs> Be careful, Alex. I will. Well, I promise you'll call me if you get into trouble. I'll try. Is that the extent of it? Oh, look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? I... Garbage? I wasn't talking... Oh, wait a minute. What, the trash bin? Uh, it's not like a government... It's a lot like a government employee. Wow, Kate, read before you speak. You've lost me. It's a thankless and glamorless job. But tries to help as many people as possible. It tries to work for the common good and not for profit. We're not perfect, but most of us are good people. Okay, the government does work for profit. Calm the fuck down, <laughs> Cooper. Uh, you be the change from the inside. I'll be the change from the outside. I don't know what that means. Oh, hello, me. Turn the alarm off. Okay, good. What's happening? Oh, it's a computer. Nothing, nothing, nothing. That's all we're gonna do. Let's see what we got here. What's this? The doctor says I have stable vision. Only truth. I can see when the barn animals are fucking. Sounds like your um, doctor diagnosed you with zoophilia. Technically, it's pedophilia since animals have the mental capacity of a baby. Damn, that got dark real quick. How does a horse you know? Don't ask questions you don't want. I don't want. I quit my job for... I don't know. None of them, really. Well... Isn't... Well, that would be a million dollars. And if you invest it properly, you could be okay, honestly. Uh, five people really like their jobs. I I mean, that's, isn't that, like, technically a million dollars? Like, that'd be, like, a million six hundred thou? Technically, if you add the K on there. God, people will quit for nothing. <laughs> um, Luke Phelps, video producer. He looks creepy. Uh, all entertainment revolves around storytelling. Phelps. Oh my god, did I say Phillips? Um, I'm always on the lookout for a great story. Share your story and we'll grow together. Great, but four stars. Uh, I got to help on his short film. It was so fun. Uh, Ellie Betts. I teach elementary students. My favorite pastime is planning my schedule. Time is precious and I love finding ways to stretch it out. I don't want to text with these people. Oh, I see. What happened to that one chick I was talking to? 
What are we doing? This is crazy. I found a bunch of government files in these boxes yesterday. What did it say? It looks like Bethany was part of some experiment. What were they trying to do? I think they were testing if mind control was possible. What if the papers are fake? What, you think they have hundreds of these documents for role-playing? Well, I did find a black wig in the closet. Well, that could be. Did you find any other costume pieces? Not yet. I'm covering a big conspiracy would change my career. Hold on a second. I don't trust him in here. What are you doing? I don't... No, you need to get out. Merlin, get out. I don't trust you in here. You're bad. Go on, out. Sorry, guys. Um, don't get lost in your fantasy now. We still need you here. I mean, I don't know what you guys need me to do here. What's this? Hi. What's wrong with your pinky? Okie dokie. The laptop is broken. Do you know why? I don't know. It turns on, but it doesn't load. You know, I'm thinking to replace my laptop soon. The one you have at work? It's really it's really good already. I can't play new games on Mac settings, though. Lower the better. Lower the settings. More FPS is better than graphics. I don't play action games. I like pretty visuals. What kind of games do you play? Ooh, that's kind of neat. Um... I don't know what casual means. I think I play a variety. I'll play any game as long as it's good. That's the truth. Same here. You're always working. When do you get the free time to watch anime and play games? When I'm going to and from work, I can usually watch an episode. What? And I'll play games in bed before I go to sleep. Maybe I'll try that. Did you figure out how the video was deleted? What video? I forgot to tell you, a video on Doran's computer was deleted around the same time we were at the scene, and I was the last person using it. Maybe the video was a temporary or backup file, and the webcam deleted it. I don't... yeah. I don't want to trust him because he has been acting shady. I want to believe you. You should download the app and test it to be sure. What app? And what is this? Is that a big six? Like an egg or a pill? I don't know. Are we down here? I guess that's it. Can I go in here? Nope. I'm sure Alex has an explanation. Oh, wait a minute. Continue. Mom? Hello? Uh, why have you not been picking up? I've been busy with a big case. Well, your father is in the hospital again. He wants you to come visit. He can call me himself if he wants me to visit. You know how stubborn he is. I'm sure he regrets what he said. We don't matter to him. He only cares about his business. The doctor says he only has a few days left. I'll drop by after work. Great. Love you, honey. Love you, too. So I gotta talk to him. You know, I called you in the morning. Oh, right, my phone was turned off. I was talking to an NSA recruiter. Yeah, right. Don't be jealous. Why would the NSA want to recruit you? Don't tell anyone, but I used to work there. What? Who killed JFK then? Aliens. I knew it. So why did you leave? I wasn't changing with the times quick enough. They teach you to give the generic answers at the NSA? We leave the misdirection to the CIA. That reminds me, we were able to recover a video on Doran's laptop. Let me guess, porn? Actually, I hear it's disturbing content. Wanna watch it now? No thanks, I'm a big scaredy cat. We should probably watch it for clues. Fine. You're a cop! What's happening? Do I have to watch this? This is freaking me out. No, I'm creeped out and I don't know why. What's happening? Are we gonna watch more? I don't know what that was. Um, you don't seem to be handling it well. Get it? Hand? 
I feel a bit sick. Sorry. We should uh, take a break and clear our heads. What's wrong with me? I really shouldn't have made that joke. I hope Alex doesn't think less of me. Was I- was something else supposed to play, or was it just supposed to show that? <sighs> Son. Dad! Miracles do happen. Oh, Dad! You should come visit in the morning. The guys would love to meet you. What guys? All your friends are boring. <laughs> they only talk about the company. I'm sorry about... You're right, I'm not good at relationships. Don't say that. You're also not good at a lot of other things. Fuck you, Dad! I get- I'm great at blowjobs, though. Oh! Why don't you just kill me now? I could never do that. I don't know how to turn off the life support off. Ha ha. When did you become so funny? I guess it's hard to notice these things. When you come home- <clears throat> when you come home late all the time. How's detective work going? I have an unusual case. You'll knock it out of the park like you always do. What choice do I have? I'm the CEO's daughter. My whole life has to be perfect. If I fail, it must mean I'm lazy and I'm only successful because of my dad. Oof. I only wanted you to reach your full potential. Have you thought about naming your future children? What future children? All I do is give blowjobs. <laughs> Not really. Why? I want to know my grandkids' names before I go. Call him your dick, Dad, okay? How about Crystal? <laughs> Crystal sounds like a stripper's name. <sighs> it does, but that's not my place to say. Wait a minute. So does Roxy. Did you name me after a stripper? Your mom chose Roxy, I think. Oh! This isn't creepy at all. Happy birthday, Harper. Love... Who Nadezda? I am sorry for mispronouncing that one, which I know I did. What is this? I can't get around anything. So what do I just leave? Okay then. Oh, I'm uncomfortable. Blood. That can't be good. There's oh. Uh, Thomas, can you or Rose pick up your father from the airport? Are you there? Your father's coming over to check on you. Oh, it's a phone. I see. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. That scared me. Holy fucking shit. Sorry, guys. If I had known, I would have... I'll put a trigger warning up. Remember that, future self. Um, or editing self. Am I crazy? Yikes. Don't kill Thomas. Leave him with his pain. I can take his hands, though. It won't kill him. I don't want to take his hands. I don't want them. You can have them. I don't want them. You can keep them. I don't know where they've been. Hi. These past five years have been tough on me. I've never. I've been lost ever since you left. I could really use your help. Nadezda. I am probably butchering that. Too high hell. What's this? Hello. Are you ready to talk? Where is my son? Tell me where the vaccine is. I want to talk to... Dejana? Dejana? I'm sorry. You're talking to me. Oh, that's creepy. Please just let my son go. I won't hurt him if you cut off your hand. There's a knife on the desk. I'll pass out before I can sever it. We'll see. You don't have to do this, Maureen. What do you mean? I'm not going to do anything. D Dahana, please help me. Oh! Oh, there's this Skeletor or whatever the fuck. Karina! <laughs> Creeping me out, Karina. Hello. Enjoying the view? I love sunny days. I'm going to get you out of your shell one day. Jackson is getting close to Newport. Oh. Can't we do anything to help him? 
Not unless you want to babysit him 24 7. Oh, wait, that was Nadaza or whatever. Courtney. Uh, satellite images show he likes to sleep in an, in an abandoned cabin. Why was it so hard to say? Uh, it'll be dark. Make sure he doesn't sneak up on you. Can I get a new partner? I don't like Vito. Finding people I can trust is difficult. My network isn't as big as Thomas's. I can help you find candidates. Okay, but only look at profiles with cute guys on them. I can't promise anything. This looks... Why is there a gun on the coffee table? What has she gotten herself into now? Bethany murdered a man named Doreen. Oh, you don't know that. Huh. Oh, wait, she was in the video. Ha! Huh. He had it coming. What do you mean? Why do we have to go over this again? We already told the police everything we knew. They would hang out after school all the time. We tried to tell her a teenager hanging out with an adult wasn't right. Why don't you, why didn't you call the police on him? She threatened to file false child abuse charges on us. We tried everything. She wouldn't leave his side. You couldn't control a teenager? Mm, you ever tried? <laughs> her multiple personalities made it difficult. Did you find any signs of abuse? I checked when she fell asleep but didn't find any. What are you checking? No wonder she doesn't trust you. We tried being reasonable. She never wanted to cooperate. When did he start hanging out with- When did she start hanging out with Doran? I, I think I called him Doran again. <laughs> we only found out she was hanging out with him because she would come home late. We had to follow her after school. Did Doran give any reasoning? He said they met playing video games online and they were just friends. I could tell he was lying. His face said it all. So you just gave up and get, let her be intimate with an adult? Calm down. A teenager's gonna do what they want to do and sneak out to get to it. We tried. You're both horrible. Calm down, okay? You don't know the circumstances. You don't know what we went through. This conversation is over. We're not talking to you without our lawyer. Yeah, you people, you can't judge on stuff like that because teenagers are crafty. Hey! Oh, I said get out. My bad. Should I have checked before? Wait a minute. Why were they allowed to adop adopt Bethany? Isn't the point of bureaucracy to prevent mistakes like this? They're trying their best. Though people having children and they can't afford doesn't help either. Well, at least it's Friday. You have any plans? I think I'm going to stay late and go through Doran's boxes. Isn't your dad sick? No, he knows how he made me felt feel. I'm sure he regrets prioritizing his work, as will you. He can wait another day. I've never seen you like this. Are you going to run? Is this it? Is this the end of it? Oh! Hey, creepoid. I'll make it quick. Why is there blood everywhere? Courtney. They wouldn't let me talk to you. I had to break out. I knew they would send you. I'm sorry, Jackson. Can you tell Hector I'm sorry? I want I couldn't go to the beach with him. I will. I'm ready. Excuse me. Goes to kill J Jackson. Dookie dookie. I got you a cold mocha. It should help you through the night. Cold coffee. How are you doing? Wow, I was starting to think you forgot about me. Mom, you know you're my best friend. Oh my god! I hate it when people do that. Uh, I bet you say that to all the girls. Only the pretty ones. My own Princess Charming. What is this? Your dad wants um, to move back home for his last moments. He's probably going to pass away early next week. I'll take next week off. Thanks, honey. Love you, Mom. Love you, too. I so, bruising on Bethany's arm. She will not name who did it. I think she might have been sexually assaulted by one of the orphanage, orphanage administrators. The abuser may reveal themselves if I observe Bethany for a few days. Dor Doran D's. Huh. Uh, Bethany seems to have the unique ability of attracting nulls. Most of the other patients gain their null through some sort of trauma. We believe it is tied to her DID. It has made it difficult for us to communicate with her. What is that? 
Uh, each null seems to grant her additional abilities. Sedatives are long losing its effectiveness. We fear um, we will not be able to control her soon and we'll have to euthanize her, Thomas Booth. What is that? Um, dissociative identity disorder, previously known as personal, multiple personality disorder. It's a mental disorder characterized by maintenance of at least two distinct and relatively enduring personality states. The disorder is accompanied by memory gaps beyond what would be explained by ordinary forgetfulness. Okay. I thought that was something else. I was wrong. Um, Bethany's timeline 10. Up to 10, Doran might have known Beth. 12, adopted by Brenda and Sienna. Doran, 25. Uh, 15, put in a mental hospital. Doran, 28, broke her out of the mental hospital. Doran, 33, was released from jail. Doran, 36, is murdered by Bethany. Huh. So they weren't intimate in that case. End of episode. Okay, so from what I've gathered, Doran is in on this experiment that's like the mind control or whatever's going on. Uh, Bethany has multiple personalities and I think Doran was just uh, figuring stuff out. Who knows what the hell's going on with Alex and apparently Roxy is dealing with some shit from her parents. I am digging it. Okay, so there's a few things, like story-wise, and I I don't know, that kind of need, like, some freshening up. I don't know, not story-wise, because I'm interested to see where this goes and the mystery behind it. I think it's just some of the actions it takes kind of makes it a little weird. And then again, I don't know how to code games, so I'm saying, you know, I easier said than done. That being said, I'm going to leave this episode off here. I will come back at another time and continue on with the story. Uh, and in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to chomp down on that like button. If you did like it, leave a comment down below with any other game suggestions or video ideas that you'd like to see from me. Share this channel with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already to see other videos that I've done. I will see you all for the next one.